Hey guys, I'm Oliver with Motionary, and today you're going to learn how to create your own transitions, how to import transitions, and how to use advanced transitions all inside Final Cut Pro. Whenever you're editing a video, you're more than likely working with more than one clip, which means you're going to need to know how to transition between those two clips. Now a transition can be as simple as just cutting between one clip and the next. It can be the more commonly used cross dissolve transition, or it can be something more advanced like the zoom transition to give the effect that we're zooming into the next shot or zooming out from the previous shot. Now when it comes to cutting clips, Final Cut Pro offers a number of ways to do this and each has their own keyboard shortcut. So to start with, move your cursor to the point in the clip that you want to cut. From here, you can either press Command B to make the cut, or you can use the blade tool. If your cursor looks like an arrow, you're using the selection tool. You can change your cursor to the blade tool by either hitting B on your keyboard or going to the tools icon and selecting the blade. Once you have the blade tool selected, simply move to the point in your clip that you want to cut and click. To get back to the selection tool, either hit A on your keyboard or go back up to the tools and hit select. Now that you know how to cut your clips, let's create a cross dissolve transition between these two clips in just one click. So Final Cut Pro has a number of built-in transitions that you can drag and drop onto your timeline between two clips or simply double click to apply it. Go over to your transition browser on the far right hand side or press Command Shift 5 to open. From here, you can either double click your cross dissolve transition or you can drag and drop onto your clip. Now that you have your transition on your clip, you can either decrease the speed of the transition or increase the speed of the transition by pulling on either side. For further customization, double click your transition and you can open up this bar. Here, you can move your whole transition to the left or further to the right, including decreasing the size and increasing the size. For further adjustments, Final Cut Pro offers some additional controls up in the expector panel. Here we can change the look, the easing in and out, the amount that we ease in and out of the transition, and we can fade the audio in and out. So this transition will fade out the first clip and fade in the second clip. Although you can create this transition manually, you can also press Command T on your keyboard to introduce the cross dissolve transition. To create the cross dissolve transition manually, we're going to want to layer our clips. So here I'm layering my second clip underneath. I'm going to go to my top clip, I'm going to go up to the inspector panel on the right hand side, I'm going to set a keyframe point on the opacity. I'm then going to move my playhead to the end of the clip, go back up to the inspector panel, and drop the opacity down to zero. If we play this transition through, you'll see our top clip fades out to reveal the second clip in behind. Now that you know how to create a simple cut transition and a cross dissolve transition, let's move on to something a little more advanced like a zoom transition. Motionarray.com has a wide range of pre-built transitions like the Zoom Transitions Pack. Once downloaded, decompress your file and import your new transitions pack into Final Cut Pro by copying the newly downloaded folder into Motion Templates and then Transitions. Close Final Cut Pro and reopen to find the new Zoom Transition back inside your Transitions browser. You can apply the transition you want by dragging and dropping in between your two clips. Now here's a tip on using a transition like the Zoom Transition. On our timeline, we have two shots, one far away and one close up. We want to give the effect that we're coming from this drone shot onto the street level. So to do that, we're going to use a Zoom In Transition. Notice how it gives the effect that we're zooming in from the drone shot onto street level. Now rather than applying the zoom in transition, look what happens if I choose the zoom out transition. Although the first shot is further away and the second shot is closer in, the zoom transition of zooming out gives the effect that we're pulling away from the drone shot and going further out of the city until we end up in the city. Now if we switch these shots around, and then use the zoom out transition, we get the effect of zooming out of the city. And there you have it. You just learned how to cut your clips for a basic transition, how to add a cross dissolve transition, and how to import and use advanced transitions. 
So guys, that's it from me, and I hope you found this video on how to create transitions in Final Cut Pro helpful. And if you're looking to add more variety to your transitions, check out all the awesome Final Cut Pro transition templates over at Motion Array. Thank you so much for stopping by, and we'll look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thank you.